Hi, it's October 13th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm Mike Stanton here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, thanks for being here this week. Right. Fairly dramatic uh, uh, motion in both directions in the market this week. The week started with a flight to quality following the terrorist attacks in Israel and the outbreak of war in Gaza. Uh, and then later, domestic economic data started to turn the picture a little bit. What did you see? Yeah, so this week, we definitely saw some volatile sessions um, driven by the events that you just mentioned. Uni yields were tighter anywhere from 13 to 15 basis points across the curve, and that's relative to a 7 to 13 basis point widening in the Treasury. So there was some decent outperformance here in the muni space. Um, later in the week, we saw some sizable buying in the short end of the curve, where yields still remain relatively high um, compared to historical levels. And also this week, we saw another week of uh, mutual fund outflows. So that was um, something that drove uh, some of that activity. And on a relative basis, munis kind of ending up the week pretty much where they were before the uh, the move last week in the the low seventies on the ten year, which is you know historically a little bit uh, elevated, uh, but still not uh, not a screaming buy maybe. Right. Um, in the new issue market, what kind of activity? Uh, we, we definitely saw more activity despite the uh, holiday shortened week. What uh, what did you see come to market? Yeah, I mean it was definitely an outlier for a holiday shortened week. We've definitely seen an uptick in competitive sales. I mean, we're expecting that to bleed into the next uh, couple of weeks and possibly then through the end of the year. Um, on the BAM side, we had roughly $250 million of par insured price. Um, a couple of deals to note, there was a competitive sale this week for Jersey City uh, general obligation bonds in New, New Jersey. That was a $51 million transaction purchased by Raymond James. And there was also a Ravenswood City School District in California, it was a negotiated sale, $50 million with Seabird. An interesting point about the more active competitive market, because just on the negotiated side, uh, BAM's looking to be even more active next week, right? Up to about $280 million of uh, negotiated uh, activity on the calendar. What's uh, what's standing out? Right. BAM, on the BAM side, we definitely have a sizable week upcoming, like you said. Um, one, the one notable transaction that we want to highlight is a Morgan Stanley transaction for Cape Coral, Florida. Uh, the utility system is pricing a uh, transaction. It's A2 rated by Moody's. But overall, the aggregate market, we're expecting an $11 billion calendar. And that's something that the market has really been wanting to see for the past several weeks. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how the market digests that, that supply and where yields go from there. And that $160 million Cape Coral uh, transaction is being priced by Morgan Stanley. And Greg Pacifico, our colleague who covers the state of Florida and BAM's public finance department, has a BAM Credit Insights video on that transaction. A little bit interesting for a utility system because the primary security is an assessment on homes, not just uh, utility revenue. So he'll break all that down as part of our video. Thanks for your time, Chris. Uh, have a great weekend. Thanks, Mike.